Good morning everyone. Today is October 13th, 2019. It is 43 but feels like 57. Nope, it's the other way around. It is 47 but feels like 53 here in North Idaho. I'm Jody and welcome to Moose Flats Farm. Well, this afternoon I'm going to work on removing that knotweed and the mountain ash because the mountain ash is kind of pushing on the power box and tripping the cause water's getting in there and tripping the GFI and cleaning out the bog and work on getting the knotweed cut down in front of the duck pen. I know I should be working in the garden, but the garden is still covered in snow. But it's supposed to warm up in the next couple days, so should be able to get that project under wraps. Well, now that I got that all cleaned up, looks pretty good. Gonna have to go through and clean up the leaves and pine cones and net out the pond. But I went through and cleaned out my contorted cherry and show you here in a minute what Buddha looks like now that we can see him. But looks good, just gotta clean up my mess. Clean up that pile and then I got one on the other side, get that cleaned up and then go get the knotweed cut out by the duck pond. And here's Buddha and the contorted cherry after their haircut. Definitely looks a little cleaned up. Now we can see Buddha. Just have to prune that grass back. And the main reason I'm not really worried about doing a good job of cleaning out the leaves that are around the, the pond because I've got this huge maple tree that's just now finally starting to drop its leaves so they'll find their way over to that area and in the pond itself so once it's cleaned up I can do the final cleanup of leaves but after that quick pause I'm gonna tackle the knotweed in front of the duck pen it'll be so cool to be able to look out the house windows and see the ducks. Let me give you a there's kind of a before shot and I'll see you back here in a minute.
Well, got all that cleaned up. And I know in the time lapse, some of you are going to be going, why did she cut down that tree? That was a plum that we planted about six years ago. The only one that got anything off it was Kiesel one time and I actually stole it from him and because he hadn't he's he's soft mouth so he hadn't broke the skin or anything washed it and I ate it it was delicious but it has never done anything since so pull it out and maybe plant another one or just leave it for the knotweed but the reason I didn't chop it all the way to the ground is we have a tie wire that helps hold the enclosure of the duck pen up and we're going to actually attach it to that pear or that plum because those things are next to impossible to kill so it probably next year will just be covered with growth which will be fine maybe that's what it needed to do something live or die but cleaned up now we can be down at the house and look up here and see part of our poultry and I don't know if you can tell oh yeah you can see it on camera but we got the plastic windbreak window here and above the door need to buy some more for the big blank here just show you for this area here didn't quite have enough but I've got some hay down for them and just adding this we could physically feel a difference and it still has the both ends completely open but they've been coming in and out to eat so hopefully they'll start getting in, in their heads to come in here at night since it's been really cold here to have a warm spot to sleep now it's kind of dark in here but this is where mama chicken yes she's a mommy now has started hatching out her babies last time I looked under her she had all different colored baby chicks and six to eight of them and I think she had like 13 14 eggs under her so hopefully by Sunday when this video comes up we'll be able to see them but she's in a dark corner and can't really see where she's at She just growled at me. That's why I knew this morning when I came out to check on her, because normally she doesn't make any noise when I check on her. She growled at me. So, hopefully we'll be able to get some baby pictures for you guys. But speaking of babies, since I haven't really given you an update on the little ones, because every time I come up to film them, when they're outside running around in the yard they immediately run back in the house but they're getting I know I keep saying they're getting big of course they're getting bigger they're babies they grow so let's go check on them a bunch of them up on the roost like they're big chickens yeah
And then there's three of them that are down in their house. I don't know if you can see them. Here, let me take this off the tripod. But we got three of them down there. everybody else up here and isn't that turk and cute so pretty I'm just hoping it's a girl yeah you guys are getting big no okay 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 but in here this little sil silky is gone broody. We're gonna have enough babies. We don't need you to have any. You got any more under there? Nope, just the one. I know, that's why we wanted silkies because they go broody. What you guys think? Well, last night I went out when it got dark, grabbed a box, put mama chicken and the 11 hatched babies and the four eggs brought her in to the end of the little brooder. Let's check and see how she's doing this morning. Doing with your new roommates. Isn't that a cute little one? How you doing, Mama? So definitely going to keep the heat light on, make it a little easier for her in this cold. What do you guys think of your new roommates? Look at those two silly babies. They're roosting in the tree. Everybody else out right there. Well, mom did wind up with a total of 12 babies. It's the biggest hatch rate we've ever had. She's doing really good. The She doesn't let the juvenile hens in here under the heat light, so they're having to find a new spot to sleep at night but they're they're doing okay with it they're all feathered out well that's where I'm gonna end today's video I hope you all have a good day and a good week don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you on Thursday's video <laughs>